Hello folks, I'm Raida Boost again, and in this brief video, we take a look into Earthwork quantities in the latest InfraWorks 360 build. When you follow the workflow from the current video, you are able to get preliminary cut and fill volumes for your road design project, meaning that you can easily select your road and calculate cut and fill volumes. And you are also able to export it into Excel. But let's start from the beginning. You have to remember that this time cut and fill volumes are available only for component roads. It means that you have to create a component road or convert your road into component road type. I just moved to an empty area where it is easy to start describing this workflow. I go to my roads palettes and click design roadways. And now I select component roads. I can then select any component that is used to create my component road. And of course I can easily change that later. Therefore I pick for example component assembly two lanes. Now I can sketch my road onto my terrain surface. Just left click and another one with double click to end my road. If I have my road in place I can straight away go to earthwork quantities tool. I just need to hit compute and I can see my cut and fill volumes. Of course those values are changing when I change my road placement or the elevation. For example I just change my viewpoint a little bit and include a new PVI. I can then raise it up for example to some other elevation 50 meters. I do need more filling this time so if I select my road and calculate again I should be able to see that my fill is now fire. I can also show it in a table format using few detail values. It says me fill and cut values. If I close it I can also export this result into CSV format. But before I do that I also want to pay attention to this settings button where you can actually define station increment how often your volume is calculated. Of course when you have more complicated road design you probably need to reduce the increment to get more exact values. If I close this dialog and leave it to 20 meters as default I can then go to generate report. As you see it is a CSV file. I will save it to my desktop. Once it's saved I can double click on it. Excel will open and I can see my cut and fill values based on my station increment. I close Excel. I can also use cross section view. I select my component road, right click and show cross section view. In here I can also see my component real depth. I can use different views to get an understanding of cut and fill rates. And of course I can move my section plane towards my stationing. Your cut and fill rates are recalculated if you change your road type. For example I do a simple change. I select one component. It is a lane component. I right click and select replace component. Then I select a different lane component. I hit OK and the difference here is that this lane component is with different depth value. For example if I select my road again and right click and pick show cross section view I can see that one lane component is much higher. It's just a demonstration that if you recalculate your cut fill volumes it will be accounted for. So your fill is actually reduced due to that in that specific location. And you are also able to see it on your cross section view when you select different view style. Just remember that this cut fill volumes is currently available for component roads. If you have different road types, for example planning roads, you can select it and turn it into design road. Or if you have a design road and right click, you can easily convert it to component road. But of course you have to remember that when converting from one type to another you should have similar components already available that define your cross section of your road. If I do that I can select my style and also assembly style. If I convert it I can see that my road has changed but now I also have an ability to calculate my cut and fill quantities. So it all depends where you are in your current project. Are you just starting off to lay down your road or if you already have some roads in present and you want to calculate quantities you are able to do that by converting your design road to component road first. So this video was about earthwork quantities that are available in InfraWorks 360 latest build. And of course if you found this video useful please do subscribe to my channel and you get notifications about my new workflow videos. Bye bye!